In ASP.NET, we can add a service to the service container using three different methods, either add transient or add scoped or add singleton. So with add transient, the service is created each time it is requested from the service container. And with add scoped, the service is created once per client request. And finally, with add singleton, the service is created only one time. So the same instance of the service is used during the application lifetime. So in this video, I will show you the difference between these three methods. So I created a service called my service. Let's take a look on it. And here we can see that each time we create an instance of this class, it will have a unique service ID. Then I requested this service from the service container in the index page. So I requested it two times, one time in the constructor and another time in the onGet method. Then I saved the ID of the first service in service ID 1 and the ID of the second service in service ID 2. Then I displayed the value of service ID 1 and service ID 2 in the page. Now let's use the first method. So with add transient, the service is created each time it is requested. That's why we have different services in the constructor and in the onGet method. Also, each time we send a request to the server, we have new services. Now let's use the second method, which is add scoped. So with add scoped, the service is created per client request. So here we can see that we have the same service, and each time we send a new request, we have a new service. Now let's test the third method, which is add singleton. So with add singleton, a single instance of the service is created during the application lifetime. So here we have the same service, and each time we send a request to the server, we have the same service. 